Wow! Buari finally reveals what we determine Nambi Kano's release. Says it's a question of negotiation. <laughs> hey, you see, my dear listeners in the house, I greet you benevolently this very evening. This is actually an evening news. In this very content, I tell you that President Mobari is actually trying to still plant fear into the minds of the people, most especially the Biafrans. Most especially the Biafrans. You see, Unam the Kano has made it very clear and he keeps saying it that he is not interested in Buari's bill. The kind of bill Unam the Kano actually wants is the bill that will be coming from the courts. Yes, he doesn't want any bill before his final bill, before the dates fixed for his bill. Nami Kano wants that bill that will be coming from the courts. The very bill that, call, that, will, be, that will come through the decisions that will be gotten, got, that will be gotten out from the mouth of the presiding judge, Justice Vinta Nyako. Do you understand? That is the kind of bill Nami Kano actually wants. He doesn't want an ordinary bill. But I want to grant Nami Kano an ordinary bill, but Nami Kano doesn't want it. You see, the ordinary bill is going to favor the federal government. It's going to favor the federal government because why? The federal government has already known what definitely is going to be the judgment. The judgment. They already know that Nnamdi Kanu is going to be in that the judge that the, that 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 the, the 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 judgment of that very day is going to be in favor of Nnamdi Kanu, and after that very judgment. The federal government will be fined for damages. Yes, they will be fined for damages. So they want to escape all those things, which is not possible. So that is what Nam Dekano is trying to put up. That's what Nam Dekano is trying to get out. So I want you to look into this deeply and understand it in the area Nam Dekano is coming from. So Bwari is trying to apply wisdom in the bill of Unam de Kano, which is not possible. So, I don't want anyone to start thinking that Unam de Kano is overreacting and is, is, is getting angry unnecessarily. No, it's not. It's only trying to, to, to protect his interest and the interest of his, of his people. You understand? And that's just it. So, let's just quickly check the content and get it right. President Mohamed Buhari on Friday told Southeast leaders that the court will determine the fate of pro Biafran leader Namde Kano Buhari during a meeting with the Southeast leader, including the leadership of Ohaneze Ndibu at the government house at Bakiliki, Ebony State, called on the Southeast leaders to allow the ongoing court process bordering on charges against the leader of the indigenous people of Piafra, Ipo Mazi Namde Kano in the country to decide separatist case. He noted that the termination of the court on the matter was necessary, adding that Kano's case should be properly adjudicated in the law court. He also expressed concerns over the worsening security situation in the region. According to him, some people from the region have brainwashed the incited many against the government, saying that he actually wants to negotiate outside the court. No, I want justice. And that is what I've been calling for. So that is what we still stand, he noted. My dear listeners, I think President Mobari is not concurring. You see, he's not concurring. But let me tell you the truth. Why doesn't want to negotiate? Why actually want to negotiate from the court? Why uh, actually want to negotiate outside the court to say? He wants to negotiate outside the court, but but he, 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 he has decided not to negotiate outside the court again because he, he has seen Nam the Kano exposing the truth. Because he has seen Nam the Kano revealing the truth. So he's afraid. He's afraid. 
Many a times, many times, we have sent delegates to Unamdikano in that very detention to speak on negotiation, but Unamdikano turned it down. So why is he now coming here to pretend as if he knows nothing about it? Why? Well, I really, really welcome this very decision of ease. And this is what Unamdikano actually wants. Yes, justice. Justice. And he has been facing the justice. You understand? So, if only we can just maintain this very system of trial till on the 18th of May, then we will now see what the judgment is going to be. In fact, a lot of people are already on seat, waiting for that very day. International personalities, international organizations, uh, international groups, countries are already in Nigeria, they have sent their delegates to Nigeria to observe that very day. They want to see how Nigerian government is going to pass through the wrong door to achieve these evil doings. <laughs> My dear listeners in the house, you know Nigeria now. You know Nigeria. See, let me tell you. Let me let me just you know freak you a little. Do you know that as I'm speaking right now, as you and I are speaking, Nigeria has created a very bad record now. Again, aside from the bad report that we have created before as number three, number three in terrorism in the whole in the whole world and number one in terrorism in Africa. That one is different. Now we have created another very bad record in US. In US. And it's a very bad one. It's a very bad one. Very, very disappointing. Very soon as you and I are speaking, you know that. Uh, uh, you know that they, have, they, 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 they made it very difficult for Nigerians to be getting visa to abroad. You know that. Now there is another condition that has now been attached to, that has now been attached to visa collection. That very condition is going to harden, harden the minds of those issuing that visa to Nigerians who are willing to travel abroad because they are now they, they have seen that Nigerians are now becoming too too eager to come over and when they come over they go there and start committing crimes they go there and start and start doing the unbelievable they go there and start doing things that are unworthy of emulations do you understand so that is why they came up with this new new, new law new new system and I concur with it. I'm not, I, I don't belong to those, to, to, to that school of thoughts that encourage Nigerians to be traveling abroad. What happened to Nigeria? What happened to Nigeria? I see those traveling abroad to be lazy people. Yes, Nigeria is not okay. Yes, the economy of Nigeria is bad. But then, you are the one that made it to be so. It is you that made it to be so. Because why? Because you have concurred with the corruption practice of Mr. President. Because you are already dancing and dancing to the tune of those who are in the corruption train. You understand? So you have to you have to stay back and enjoy the corruption that you have used your own hand to cook. You understand? So it's a welcome thing. You understand? So I really appreciate that. I really concur with it. So this decision is a welcome thing. It's a very welcome decision. Let us not run away from it. <laughs> yes! Let us not run away from it. So let's go back to uh, uh, the decision of President Mulberry concerning Namde Kano. You see, Namde Kano is not in a hurry. He's not in a hurry. He personally wants justice. And that justice is what he definitely will get. You understand? So let us... Welcome your opinion, my dear listeners. Let's know what your opinion and your thoughts on this very broadcast could be. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated.